It's official, boys and girls. I am bi-curious. I want to watch my hot female nurse make out with another female. Oh, yeah. What's up, boys and girls? Ladies and gentlemen, new map pack is coming out, and I want to do a Doris walkthrough for you. Showing you guys some of this map, how I get the higher levels, because maybe a lot of you haven't played the old zombie maps. And if you like zombies and you haven't played the old zombie maps, you need to buy this map pack. It's well worth 15 bucks. And this is a good map. I love this one. This is a solo guide. It applies to two person also. When you get into four person, because I advocate not hitting the box, but in four player, there's more leeway because more people are opening doors. And you can get a lot of this done earlier. So let's do this. Now, the first thing I show you is that I want to play as Rick Tofen because I love his lines the best. They're super funny. Um, and he's German, whatever. And um, so you just keep restarting the, the level when you're playing single player and eventually the player you want will come up. So that's what I'm doing here, just trying to get to him. It takes a few to flip it. Eventually I get there. So what you want to do whenever you're playing the zombies, the first level of course, which is common knowledge, is I knife the zombies. You, or you can, people shoot them, but I knife them and save the bullets for the next wave because I generally want to keep the ones that take two hits away from me. Because I'm handicapped and I'm playing with my face, so, you know, I don't got those quick reflexes. So, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just knifing those guys. Now, here I end up shooting these guys because that's a three-person or a three-zombie collateral. And that's just worth the point. So, what I do is I hang it on this side of the mainframe. And I just defend that window. Shoot the guys that come from that way. And that's what I do for this whole round. Just defend that window. Kill them at that window. Kill all the fast ones that come and shoot them and then knife them, just like that. And if you don't have a max ammo, usually once they get slow enough, you can knife, knife the slow one. So I wait here, I run over to get the Thompson. Thompson is the best gun to buy off the wall in this early round, you get tons of points. And I wait out there as long as I can. If you notice, the zombie was coming up to me because I wanna let him spawn in the mainframe. And that's my goal. So I wait there as long as that door and then I open the door and get the Thompson. Make sure none are coming behind me. And then once you have all the fast ones killed, go to your Colt, finish that off. Use as much as possible. Try not to let them too close like that, almost went down. Stupid move, rookie move. Yeah, so it's, it's just getting those collateral shots with your Colt is great. And it, I'm doing really good on points here. And I have the Thompson. I have almost 2,000 points. There's still some zombies left. So now I wait this round, the next round, I wait right at the top of the stairs. Wait till they start coming. And then I open this door and I run right to the edge. Usually I drop down. Here I waited, which I don't recommend doing because you might get a drop. Like you're going to see me get here in a few moments. Right there, a bomb. And you never get the bomb. Unless it's the end of the round. Because the 400 points you get for the bomb do not equal the massive points you get for the zombies. So I end up getting that bomb because there was one guy left. So I turn on the power and I wait right down here. But I'm running for the FG-42. Best wall gun to pack a punch. And I do this every time I play Darius. I use my Thompson right here and I have the FG-42 as backup. And I pack a punch. The first gun I pack a punch is the FG-42 which becomes the 420 Impeller. Because it gives you the most ammo and it's the most powerful. It works great. So then I buy Speed Reload. Speed Cola, I mean. Sleight of Hand, whatever. So I buy Sleight of Hand. <laughs> oh, so great. I don't like to buy wall ammo. It, to me, it's if I am buying like I am in this game, I'm doing something wrong. I'm not managing or I'm not getting the max ammos. I should be. Another bomb, don't get it, you leave it there. You get it if there's a problem, but you don't get bombs until round 15. After round 15, I start doing it. Now the new, if you play the old World at War maps, the new World at War maps, you can buy quick revive and it actually works to get you up if you go down. So remember that, it's important. The power is on for them. So I throw my nades out when the dogs come just to help me get the kills that I need. Get that max ammos. 
And in these, in the new zombie maps, the max ammos will replace your um, bouncing Bettys. So you don't need to actually save one Betty and get it to get it to replenish. So keep that in mind. So here, I'm, what, when max ammos appear, what you want to do is shoot as many shots as you can before you grab the max ammo. I know a lot of you are going to go, this is basic. Yeah, but maybe if you haven't thought of that, I actually ended up missing that one, but I got another max ammo. And when you're playing zombies, you got to think on your feet. Like right here, I'm shooting this guy, but I didn't want to shoot through him and kill my crawler in the background, my Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. So I shot at his feet so I would, he would not kill that guy. So now I have 7,000 points. So I open this. Um, I have a lot of ammo, but I'm trying to get a max ammo. It was actually stupid to do that. I should have bought Betty's because if this was a max ammo, I already have full ammo, I think, for the most part. Um, but if I had dropped my Betty's, my bouncing Betty's, I would have been able to get two more. So I buy my Betty's, buy jugs. So think, think about this. It's round eight. I haven't hit the crate yet. I won't hit the crate. I have Betty's, um, quick revive, sleight of hand, or speed cola, juggernog. Drop one here. Now watch this run. This is my, this is using my face, right? I do this without turning. I'm so, I love this. I, down, 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 back up. Just like so. Up the stairs. All without ever turning my head. Dude, I, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. That's my epic run. So here I got my Betty in hand, seeing if it's a max ammo. It's not. It's a two time. So. I'm running with my Betty. Um, I don't think it makes you any faster if you have um, SMGs, but I was doing it anyway. It's like, why not? So guys, I'm set up here. Like, it's round eight. It's going to be round nine. I have all the things. The pack-a-punch is open. It's a bomb. I should have shot the guy up there who was crawling on the fence. He was the last guy. But I got the bomb because it was worth it. So I run back. I fight in the, up here in the catwalk. And that's what I'll do. And the catwalk works up until you throw the grenades out there to get the crawlers. Uh, catwalk works until about round 20. And then you got to start running and using teleporters and the traps. So that was last guy. I didn't want to shoot him. You got to keep track of who's your last guy. So I pack a punch. FG42 becomes the 420 impeller, man. Hey, man. That's awesome. Yeah, and that gun is great. Pack a punch. Using it. Um, up until round 20, I think. So here you drop your Bettys there and one here. And you they one zombie won't set off both of them. And that's your fallback plan. So here I do something totally stupid. At round 10, unpack a punched SMGs really suck. As you notice, I'm getting overrun here. And I'm just being stupid. I should be using my F, the uh, 420 impeller. I'm not. And I'm going to pay the price. That's it. I'm done for. I use my two Bettys as backup. I'm shafted. I should be going over there to get those guys that are down below, but I didn't. So maximizing points with the SMGs is not a good call when you get past round 10 if they're not pack-a-punched. So, but notice the 420 Impeller going to town. 64 round clip, which is awesome. Oh, stupid. I'm going down. But yeah, that, this gun is great. And see, I'm set up round 10. Now you start hitting the box. And last guy, stupidly, he kills me. Ugh. I went out like a chump. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Just wanted to give you guys some derice tips. Deris or whatever it's called. Derisa. The Wunderwaff. Because the new maps are coming out. And uh, if you haven't played them, these maps are awesome. It's all you new people, the zombies who started with Black Ops. You're going to like these maps. They're super fun. And I'll be doing one for each of the other maps coming out before it launches for Xbox. And that's all. These, these are just tips that I use. That pattern, I follow it every time. That pattern of getting Speed Cola first, the FG42. And I always get to around 20, unless I'm an idiot like right there. All right, zombie killers, game on. Reese's Pieces in your zombie creases.